All right, we're gonna do a quick lightning round for fun and then we'll probably have time for an audience question or two. All right, who's your real life heroine? <laughs> well, you've got me started on this. <laughs> um, my real life um, heroine is Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She blazed the trail. <laughs> Uh, what is a book that changed your perspective on an issue? There's this book called Far From the Tree. Um, it's by Andrew Solomon. It's about parents who raise children who are fundamentally different than them, whether or not their child is a genius or deaf or have severe physical disabilities. It talks about the experience of parenting those children, and that book really helped me relate to the parents and the families that I take care of as a pediatrician. Mark's favorite thing to cook for you. Okay, Mark cooks, and, and this is all one unit. You can't have less or more or any different. He cooks two racks of baby back ribs. <laughs> um, and that's, that's the Mark special. It's true. Actually, very early, uh, Priscilla and I were talking about this, very early in, in my tenure at Facebook, there was one weekend where Priscilla was out of town and Dave was out of town, so Mark and I looked at each other. We're like, what are you doing tomorrow? I'm like, I have no plans. You have no plans. He's like, come over for dinner. And so Mark made me meet. <laughs> like, literally, he stood at the grill and he cooked for the two of us, like, this much steak. And there was nothing else. <laughs> there was just this much steak. And then he took it up and he did it himself. And, he was so, and it was completely delicious. It's just I wasn't used to having a meal of only steak. <laughs> I was kind of, and you know, he's my new boss. I didn't want to insult him. But I was kind of looking around for the salad. <laughs> Anything else, it, it, it wasn't there. Um, but the steak was delicious. Uh, do you cook for him? Uh, rarely, but uh, when we're tired of the all-meat diet, I jump in a little bit. <laughs> Who are you more excited to dress up for Halloween, Max or Beast? Well, it's going to be... People love Beast. Beast is dog famous. Um, we, uh, we're doing a whole family costume, so I think the person I'm most excited to see dressed up is Mark. <laughs> All right, we look forward to seeing it on Facebook and Instagram. Did you have a favorite class or subject in medical school? This is kind of a fun story. Um, I had this one lecture in medical school that I remember very vividly. Um, it was led by a man at UCSF called Joe DeRisi, and he was so energetic, so enthusiastic about his work, and he, his work that he was describing was so out of this world that it sounded like science fiction. And I, I was just enthralled by his lecture and tracked him and his career um, over the next decade or so, and when it came time to found the Biohub, um, this new institute uh, that we are building in the Bay Area where we bring together engineers, scientists, physicians to really solve hard problems about human health, um, his name came up again, and now he's leading the Biohub. So you never know when you're really going to make an incredibly strong impression and impact on someone. That's amazing. All right, and this is breaking news because it just happened. Max's first word. Yes, this is really exciting. <laughs> um, so Max, is his first word, um, I think influenced by Beast in our lives, is dog. Um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we, I think she has a second word uh, for plane. It doesn't sound anything like plane, but she says it consistently. But that's not, it has not yet passed Mark's bar of qualifying word. as a word. 